Welcome back to Turtle Graphics with Python. In this session, we're going to have a look at how we can use the pen color tool. We're also going to look at the pen up and the pen down command, and also look at pen size. So we're going to look at how we control the line that follows the turtle as we draw objects on the page. Let's get underway by opening a new file in Python, ready to create our program. First thing we're going to do is create a new file. So going file, new, and Python file. Remember that I'm using PyCharm as the IDE and using the latest version of Python. If you'd like to know more about that, there'll be a link in the comments below so you're able to install these. We're going to give it a name. In this case here, we're going to call it line because we're going to be looking at the line tool. We're going to put a developer comment in. So we're just going to use the hash symbol and then I'm going to put two dashes and put developer and then you should put your name. It's always a good way of actually starting every program. We need to import turtle again. And then we can start our program. I normally set my turtle shape. Then I set the speed. And then I'm going to put a developer comment in here, just as a line break between my environment conditions and also where my end of my program is going to be. And then at the bottom, we're going to have the exit on click. Now my program set up to do some line work. So let's start by moving the turtle forward by going turtle dot forward and let's move it forward 200. Let's just check our program is working okay, which it is. Now the first command we're going to look at is the pen up. So if we go turtle dot pen up and open and close brace. This time when we run the program, the turtle shouldn't leave a trail behind. As you can see in the sample, it doesn't leave a trail behind. But if we put the pen down, and go backwards 200, It should leave a line behind it. This time I'll slow the turtle down to two so we can watch it work. No line, then a line. So we can use the pen up and pen down tool to actually help us create different lines. So let's keep going backwards, but this time we're gonna pen up and we're gonna put a little gap between the lines. So just a little blank gap. So I'm just gonna make it say 30 pixels long. And then we're gonna put the pen down and go 200. So we should start seeing a dashed line occurring. Now you notice there's no gap in my line. That's because if you look here, I've got backwards 200, pen up, I go forward 30, then pen down. Now I'm drawing from right to left and so I would really like the backwards to ensure there's a little gap between the lines. Ah, we can see the lines occurring now. All right, let's just change the second line. Let's make it a little bit thicker. We're gonna use the pen size. We're gonna use the turtle pen size. And then we can give it a width. Now, once again, it can go from one through to 10. So let's have a look at the size of one. You'll see it's the same. And let's have a look at size of five. We'll speed our turtle also up to 10 so he goes flat out. And let's go to the largest size, 10. Now the last command we wanna have a look at is pen color. Now pen color uses what's called a hexadecimal color. So let's set our pen color here to 
turtle dot pen and we're going to be using the American spelling a C O L O R so remember that so then we actually need to set the parameters of the colors in here so we need to put in a single quote and then we start with a hash symbol like we did with the comment developer comments but in here we can actually place the hexadecimal colors so normally it will have the two red colors so two numbers from 0 to F the 16-bit hexadecimal colors and it goes red then two green then two blue well let's get some help on this and open up a web page and have a look at a hexadecimal color picker now the hexadecimal color picker I like to use is from three schools I'll put a link in the comments below of this video on here you can select any color you like so you can come out and pick a purple color and then you've got different shades if you look to the right hand side here you'll see the hexadecimals so if you want something that is a bit of a nice violety color so CC CC FF I can then copy that including the hexadecimal go back to my code and then I just paste it inside these brackets so the red green blue channel now when I run the program you can see we now have those colors if we want to change the color of the pen as we go along we can just copy that line of code and then we draw our next one down here we can pick a different color heading back to my color picker I might pick a shade of green this time and I want more of that monster energy drink green so I'm going to take the hexadecimal here head back to my code and paste it between the two quotes once more this time when I run my program you can see I've got the purple violet then I've got the bright green so in this tutorial we've looked at how we can actually set up our structure of our code a little bit better we've used the pen up command the pen down once again apply the forward and backwards commands and also we looked at how we can actually change the color of the line that follows our turtle as we draw so I hope you found this tutorial useful if you did give it a like subscribe to my youtube channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial of turtle graphics with python